All right, so I thought we could be done with Game of Thrones and just kind of let it die, let the past die because it ended so horribly for most people. But some articles came out today in some online publications. I feel like I had to make a little video about it regarding how the books are going to end in comparison to the show. And I've said many, many times that the books and show will end the same way. I don't think a lot of people really doubt that. Yes, there will be differences, as we talked about before, as far as some other characters. George R. R. Martin has said this himself a million times. He gave the big plot points of the ending to Dan and Dave back in season four or five or whatever it was, and that's the way it's going to end. But for whatever reason, we have some articles that are now saying otherwise, essentially, or at least trying to clickbait you into believing that. So let's jump over here and take a look at a couple of these and address this one last time. <laughs> All right, so a couple of these came out today, and this is just one example. This one's not too bad itself as far as a clickbait title, uh, but this is from Esquire here, and I wanted to uh, show you also previously another Esquire article over here. This is back in from May the 31st, 2019, and we'll get to that in a second. But the point being here, you have the article, George R. R. Martin just gave hope to Game of Thrones fans who want a better ending. And then basically, it's a very short article, so it won't take long to get through this, but it says here, if you're a bitter uh, Game of Thrones fan, still bitter about the ending of the series, they used bitter twice there, uh, rejoice, there may be hope yet. No, not because of the petition demanding the HBO remake the eighth and final season with competent writers, but because George R. R. Martin has shed new light on his intentions to finish the two final books in the series he's been writing since the 1970s. The 1970s, he started, what? He started, he started a Game of Thrones in like 90, 91, and it was published in 96. What, what, 1970s? What the hell? Who is this? Who is this writer? I'm sorry. Adrian Westenfield? Uh, okay, that's just, yeah, that's just wrong. Um, anyway, The Winds of Winter and, the, and A Dream of Spring. That's <laughs> 1970s. I mean, maybe he had thoughts of in the 70s. I've never heard him say that. I don't know. Anyway, to continue... In an interview with the German newspaper Welt, Martin didn't go into specifics about his vision for the ending. However, he was clear that the television series ending isn't the full story. Well, no shit, there was so much missing from the TV show as far as characters and houses and you know subplots and all that. Obviously, it's not the full story, but it is the main story. So anyway, uh, people know an ending, but not the ending, Martin said. The makers of the TV show had overtaken me, which I didn't expect. And that was from the interview there. So they're extrapolating from that one single line there. People know an ending, but not the ending, that it's going to be completely different. But in fairness, this article does go on to say, if you're praying for Martin to shred the show's ending and go in a new direction, you may be in for disappointment. Though Martin commentated rather cryptically, season eight was not completely faithful. Other creators involved with the show have suggested otherwise. For example, this is something I mentioned before, Isaac Hempstead Wright, the actor who portrays Bran Stark, spoke in a behind-the-scenes HBO documentary about the long-time collaboration between Martin and the showrunners. David Benioff and D.B. Dickhead, Weiss, I'm sorry. Dave and Dan told me there were two things that George R. R. Martin had planned for Bran, and that was the Hodor revelation, which of course was the big hold the door thing, and that he would be king, Hempstead Wright said. So that's a pretty special to be directly involved in something that is part of George's vision. It was a really nice way to wrap it up. So there you go. That's from Bran himself, uh, Isaac Hempstead Wright, saying that he was told uh, that he would be king as far as Bran the character. So that obviously is a major thing that's going to happen in the books. Um, to continue for the last little part of this, as for what we can expect from Martin's conclusion to the series, we can expect two doorstep novels that will fill the blanks of what many felt like a rushed, nonsensical season. In a post on his blog after the Game of Thrones finale aired, Martin wrote about his intention to conclude the character journeys that the show wasn't able to address. Uh, so this is a little uh, excerpt from his not a blog back in the day, right after Game of Thrones ended. I'm working in a very different medium than David and Dan. Never forget, they had six hours for the final season. I expect these last two books of mine will fill 3,000 manuscript pages between them before I'm done. And if more pages and chapters and scenes are needed, then I'll add them. And of course, the butterfly effect will be at work as well. Those of you that follow this not a blog will know that I've been talking about that since season one. There are characters who never made it onto the screen at all, and others who died in the show but still alive in the books. So if nothing else, the reader will learn what happened to Jane Poole, Lady Stoneheart, Penny and her pig, Shave Pate, Ariana Martell, Darkstar, Victorion Greyjoy, Sir Galen the Gallant, Aegon the Sixth, and myriad of other characters, both great and small, that viewers of the show never had the chance to meet. And yes, there will be unicorns of a sort. So there you go. That was from his not a blog uh, article back right after Game of Thrones season eight ended when he finally spoke out about it. So basically he's kind of confirming right there that yes, as far as the show watchers and the show being over, you saw 
an ending, but not the ending. This is all he's talking about. He, he's always talking about is all these other characters and stuff like that that we did not get to meet in the show. There'll be slight differences in those characters that we did meet in the show, but where they end up will be the same, and that's just the way it is. So I just kind of saw this and thought, you know, I need to talk about this for a second because this was not so bad itself. This was actually pretty fair because it had the other side of the coin. But I saw several today, and I'm sorry I couldn't find those to pull them up. They were pretty much just damn clickbait articles uh, to get people thinking, okay, the, the show is going to be different from the books. And it's not. This is the story that they bought. He gave them the ending of the story, the big major beat. So you're going to see Bran become king. And if you're a book reader, by the way, you can already think back to some of these quotes in the books. As a matter of fact, in A Game of Thrones, the very first book, he obviously had this plan from way back when because you see things like Bran the Broken. And of course, in the show, he's called King Bran the Broken. That's the way he does as far as like real life. He, You know, these kings have nicknames. So... He ended up being King Brand the Broken. Obviously, R plus L equals J will be the same thing. That's how they got the show in the first place because they answered the question correctly. And of course, in the show, at least, all that really meant was that was for Danny's downfall. That was to drive a wedge between John and Danny because we all wanted them to fall in love and live happily ever after. And you know the old saying we talked about for many, many years on this channel and in the community in general. If you think this thing has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. So yes, Brand will be King. Danny will go mad or whatever it'll just be done in a better way obviously and the major beats will still be there and i think the characters will pretty much end up in the same place whether they are alive or dead and that's just the way it's going to be and the reason i mentioned this other article because of course this was back from may the 31st by a completely different author on the same esquire.com game of thrones big finale twist is exactly what george r martin has planned for his books and this is an article here i won't go through it now but basically saying the same thing here, that he actually had this all planned and gave the ending to Dan and Dave. And he had already said that in an interview previously as well. So many different interviews where he said, you know, they have the ending. They, you know, they got the full story, except they didn't include the full story, obviously, because he hadn't finished with the books. But they got a lot of the Winds of Winter that was already written, excerpts, whatever, because he had already had much of this book done for many, many years. He's been working on the damn thing since 2011. The books and show will end the same. Yes, we will see all the other characters that we missed from the books and all that good stuff. But the major beats are going to be there. And probably whether the characters end up being alive or dead at the end of this thing will probably be the same as well as far as the characters that we did get to meet in the show. Anyway, at this point, you know, I'm going to obviously finish the books when they come out, if they ever do. At least the Winds of Winter will, I believe. I believe that'll happen this year. So I will obviously continue to read the books and finish them because I'm not going to, you know, start something that I started that long ago and not finish the books because I hated the ending. But uh, if you think there's going to be some different ending in the books that's going to be satisfying, I just think you have another thing coming. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As usual, thank you for all the support, especially you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon Smokescreen producers. And if you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like, comment, and a share. And of course, be sure to subscribe to get everything and click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.